San Francisco City Clinic provides a, a broad range of sexual health services. I'm Stephanie Cohen. I'm the medical director at San Francisco City Clinic. We are here to provide easy access to comprehensive, low-cost, culturally sensitive um, sexual health services to everyone who walks through our door. So we provide STD checkups, diagnosis, and treatment. Um, we also provide HIV screening. We provide HIV treatment to people who are living with HIV and are uninsured, and then we help get them health benefits and bridged into comprehensive primary care. We also provide both pre- and post-exposure prophylaxis for HIV prevention. We also provide um, a range of, of women's reproductive health services, including contraception, emergency contraception, that's sometimes known as Plan B, um, pap smears, and colposcopy. We are almost entirely drop-in, so people will come as soon as we're open, sometimes even a little before opening. Uh, weight varies a lot. It could be if you're the first person here, you're in and out within a few minutes. There are some days that we do have a pretty considerable weight, uh, but in general, people can just walk right in, register with our front desk, and be seen that day. My name is Yvonne Piper. I am a nurse practitioner here at San Francisco City Clinic. The first time that I came to City Clinic, I was a little intimidated. It was the first time that I got treated for an STD. Um, I walked up to the red line and I was greeted with a warm welcome. I'm Chad Redden and I'm a client of City Clinic. San Francisco has had an STD clinic since all the way back to um, 1911. And at that time, the, the clinic was founded to provide STD diagnosis and treatment to sex workers. Um, there had been a big increase in STD rates after the earthquake and the fire. Um, a lot of people were homeless and there, were, there was more sex work and more homeless sex workers. And there were some public health experts who were pretty progressive for their time who thought that by providing STD diagnosis and treatment to sex workers that we might be able to get a handle on STD rates in San Francisco. When you arrive at the clinic, you are going to wait with whoever else is here. Register at the front desk first. After you register, you'll have a seat in the waiting room and wait to be seen. After you are called, you come to the back, meet with a healthcare provider. We determine what kind of testing to do, what samples to collect, what medication somebody might need. PrEP, or pre-exposure prophylaxis, is an HIV prevention method, highly effective, um, that involves folks taking a daily pill um, to prevent HIV. And PrEP is recommended both by the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, as well as by SFDPH, to um, individual clients who are at elevated risk for HIV. I actually was in the demo project here uh, when it first started, um, when it was in trials, and I am currently on PrEP. I do PrEP through uh, City Clinic. Um, you know, I get my tests ran here regularly, and I highly recommend it. A lot of patients and clients think that there's no way they could afford to pay for PrEP. But we really encourage people to come in and talk to one of our PrEP navigators. We find that we can help almost everyone um, find a way to access PrEP that's affordable for them. The few times that we do have appointments would be on Thursday mornings. We have two different clinics that are going on at that time. One is Women's Health Services, so people can make an appointment either by calling, dropping in, or emailing us for that. We also have an HIV care clinic that is happening on that morning as well, that is also by appointment only. Uh, City Clinic has been like home to me. Um, I've been coming here since 2011. My name is Kyung Mi Choi. I'm a client of City Clinic. When I first learned uh, I was HIV uh, positive, I didn't know what it was, and I thought my life would be just end there but all the support they gave me and uh, all the information I need to know was very helpful. And um, so I've been uh, managing my HIV care with excellent health. About a quarter of our patients are women. Um, the rest, 75% are men, and about half of the men who come here are gay men or other men who have sex with men. A small percent, about 1% of our clients identify as transgender. We ask folks at the front for a $25 fee for services, although we don't turn anyone away for lack of funds. Uh, we'll also work on a sliding scale with that, so any amount people can pay, we'd be happy to accept. I get tested for pap smear, and I was also informed uh, uh, contraceptive method. 
accessibility to the clinic was very easy. You can just walk in and uh, talk to registration staff. I feel I've been taken care of and I've been supported. All of the information that we are collecting here is kept confidential. So this means we can't release your information without your explicit permission. A lot of folks are concerned, especially coming to a sexual health clinic, unless you have signed a document that tells us exactly who can receive your information, we can't give it to anybody outside of our clinic. Trans men and women face really significant um, levels of discrimination and stigma in their daily lives and in healthcare. HIV and STD rates in San Francisco are particularly and strikingly high for trans women. And so we've really tried to make City Clinic a place that's trans-friendly, trans-competent, and trans-welcoming. Everyone from the front desk to behind are amazing. They're completely knowledgeable. They're friendly. Um, for me, being a sex worker, I've gone to a lot of different medical practices, and sometimes they weren't competent and they weren't friendly. Um, and they kind of made me feel like they slapped me on the hand for, um, you know, living the type of lifestyle that I do. I'm Sasha Ford. I've been coming here for seven years. When I come here, I know that my services are going to be met. They're going to be confidential. I don't have to worry about anyone, like, looking at me or making me feel lesser than. A visit with a clinician could take anywhere from 10 minutes if you have a really straightforward concern to over an hour if something goes on that needs a little bit more help. We have some testing that we do on site. So all of our samples we collect here, um, including blood draws, we would send it to the lab from here so people don't need to go elsewhere to get their specimens collected. And then we have a few tests that we do run on site. So those would be urine pregnancy tests, HIV rapid tests, and hepatitis C rapid tests. People would get those results the same day of their visit. I think it's important for um, transgender, gender fluid, or gender neutral people to understand that this is the most confident, the most comfortable, and the most knowledgeable place that you can come to. On site we have condoms as well as Depo-Provera, which is also known as the birth control shot. Um, we can prescribe other forms of hormonal contraception, like the pill, the patch, and the ring. We provide pap smears to women who are uninsured in San Francisco residents, or to women who are enrolled in a state-funded program called Family Pact. Pap smears are the recommendation, recommended screening test for monitoring women for early signs of cervical cancer. So we do a fair amount of our own stuff the day of a visit, we can try to get some answers for folks while they're here. Whenever we have that as an option, we like to do that, obviously, so get someone diagnosed and treated on the same day if we can. In terms of how many people we're usually able to see in a day, we say roughly 100 people. If people have very brief and straightforward visits, we can certainly see 100, maybe a little more. If we might be understaffed that day or have a lot of complicated visits, we might not see as many folks. So if we reach our target number of 100 patients early in the day, we may close our doors early for drop-ins. So my best advice to be seen here is get here early. We do have a website, it's sfcityclinic.org. There's a wealth of information on the website about our hours and our location, as well as a ton of information about STDs, HIV, um, there's a lot of information for providers on that website as well. Patients are also welcome to call the clinic, 415-487-5500. Um, the phones answer during business hours for uh, clients who have questions.